One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 276. And that marks the amount of art money I've done in a year. That's my monthly wages. That's what it looks like. Now it has the serial number, the year of production. I gave it a title, which is the name of the male model. I wrote my name, my country. I gave it a stamp. It doesn't have to be a stamp, but it needs a website and a, and a signature. And then um, it's an original watercolor and uh, acrylic. This guy has balls. I've been using this dentist for about four years. I never had to pay any money to go there. Art money has a purchasing value. You're not going to trash it. I think they are quite nice, all of them. Just like a dollar is always going to be a dollar. An art money is always going to be worth an art money. The most people who are actually very wealthy, they've gone bankrupt several times. And then at some point they just, just hit the jackpot. And we actually need those people because those are the people who really think different. Like Richard Branson, for instance. So that's why I'm going to honor him with my, my virgins. My dad's an artist. We never had any money. It always pissed me off. So when I grew up, I decided to be filthy rich because it's the easy way to get what you want. I went to business school for many years. So I actually did get really rich, and then I went bankrupt, thank God, 10 years ago. And then I decided if it's not possible to become rich by earning ordinary currencies, I could just make my own. I'm hiding it in the back, so maybe I can keep it. Ah, this is really big money. And I can tell you the exchange rate for one of these dollars is humongous. These would sell for four to five thousand on auction. And I try to sell them only on auction because that's where you get the real price. What is the value of a painting? The value of a painting is exactly the amount somebody's willing to pay. That's my favorite. The Obama Joker. Go and print your own money. It's a good idea. Print, print. It always feels good after a session of making art money. You need to practice this nice drawing session and, and after then you, you have all this uh, soft cash that you can go and spend. It's like uplifting. So. It's where you can spend art money up to 50%. People believe in art money more now than they did 17 years ago because it has existed for 17 years. It's easier to believe. Lars's project is a project trying to make an alternative currency. I don't want to make a currency because I don't want them to be resold. 
only mistake Glass made was he fixed the currency. It's a fixed rate. So that means the, the value of, of the artworks will never go up and down. Meaning it's maybe not so desirable actually to own it. I'm often being criticized as being very commercial. If you suffer for your cause, you always seem more sympathetic. I think that's it. I think, um, and it makes you more human. If you, if you make too much money, you're suspicious. Because are you in it for the art or are you in it for the money? If you don't have any money, well, then you're for sure in it for the art. I bought nearly all my children's clothes without money. So you can just figure the amount of money that would have cost. We have a very small income in our family. I'm the only person as a breadwinner. We have to live you know, inexpensively and when we need to buy stuff that is expensive, then I start drawing. We have some of the early art money on, on the shelf over there. They control it themselves. If they need money, they can make money. I also saved up some art money for my kids. So in a suitcase I put it aside. When they turn 18, they can open that, and that will be their trust fund or savings. There's about a quarter of a million Danish crowns in that suitcase, in art money, so it's like, it's a solid check. With some luck, they could buy an apartment. When they grow up, it's going to be worth something.